Welcome to another episode of Small Engine Velocity. Today, in this particular video, I'm going to correct something that has been messed up on the Ruckus for a while. Uh, the rear suspension right here, this is an incorrect piece, and more specifically, the end is incorrect. It's connected by one side. It's not a clevis end like this. Imagine this, but only one side and uh, it's also crooked because it's incorrect. So whenever I would hit bumps, it would compress sideways. So thanks to TXGET from the Discord channel, AKA Buzzy from the Houston, uh, from the Honda Ruckus group on Facebook, he was able to requisition this for me. It is an uh, NCY lowdown. Uh, hopefully it doesn't go too far down, but we'll see. Uh, so right now I propped up the bike on some blocks. Uh, I went ahead and loosened some of these bolts right here just to see how it will react because I don't want it to collapse too much because I only have one arm to be able to complete this. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, get that taken care of and see if this uh, fits correctly. Let's start that right. I was able to use a wrench as a breaker bar on this tool and now it's loose. So yay. Go breaker bars. Okay, so here is the part that I pulled off. I mean, it looks cool, and the top worked, but look at the, the bottom. It's not a clevis end, and it doesn't work. Here is the actual part. See how it goes to cross both sides? And then it's offset just a slightly enough so that it, it's straight. Well, this one was like this, so it's literally at an angle. Now, I'm gonna keep this. I can use it for the Lafon probably if I could find a, a clevis end, but I'm gonna go ahead and test fit this one onto the bike. And uh, I mean, I can already tell that it's gonna work better than the one before, but let's see how it looks uh, right now. Like it's gonna hit the tire. Go ahead and take it off the blockos. Holy cow! Look at that! <coughs> Dude, you got me all sorts of low now. Sweet! Hey Texas Get, thank you. This looks great. Look at that. 
and then now when I put my kickstand down, before when I had it, when I put my kickstand down, I was leaning, it was a really hard lean. It's like way angled over. Now that I've lost what I feel is like two inches, like it's really low compared to what it was before. Okay, well we got it switched out. I actually went and took a ride around the block. I took some pictures, and here they are. Uh, the bike looks a lot lower than I did. I should have took a before picture, but I didn't. Um, I know it's lower because whenever I put the uh, suspension on, I actually had to raise the back end just to get the suspension to connect. But uh, it looks good. It needs to be ridden around. So if there's anyone in the Houston area who wants to like borrow a ruckus for the day, uh, feel free to hit me up in instant messenger in the discord or whatever and you can pick it up and ride it around for the day uh, I'd like to thank all the people if you look there's the screen This is also my garage studio all the people that are watching this live right now uh, Police bike ten where Texas get mr. Bettinator uh, Who else is in here? Uh, CRX CRX 1999 1991 uh, all those people who hung out with me through this process, so I'm sure there's more that I missed, but I apologize if I missed you. But anyways, uh, I'm very happy that this got done because I was afraid that something was going to happen eventually if I hit a giant pothole and it was going to break. Now the alignment is straight. Uh, that's great. Um, I've talked to plenty of people who have talked, uh, who have known someone who had some kind of stretch kit break because of improper suspension or something like that. And then when that breaks, your bike folds and then you flip off and I've heard of people getting seriously injured that way. So this makes me feel a little bit better uh, about that because obviously I don't want to, I don't want to get any injured anymore. Anyways, thank you for watching. Uh, leave a comment below if you have anything about any uh, questions about the suspension or if you have any suspension stories you'd like to tell me about. Anyways, thank you and I'll see you next time.